Right everybody, welcome back to another video. I thought I'd bring you this one because there's been hell on on social media regarding this situation. But before we get into the video, can you hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and comment below what's your thoughts on this situation as this video, as this situation has got Sullen supporters divided. It's about the Ahmed Diallo video, what he's released and his song. He released a video saying, only an hour before the game, keep that in mind, he released a video saying that... Can you please change the lyrics and be more, res a little bit more respectful? Hearing you sing my name is incredible, but we need to be respectful. Let's change the song, keep the noise, and move forward together. Which is fair enough, but the reason why I've got a little problem with this is because the club basically, an hour before the game, very poor timing in my opinion, as in the game the song got sung numerous times, but a lot of supporters will not have even seen the video um, like I say, one hour before the game, supporters are travelling well well before an hour before the game and also supporters gone to the pubs and meet up with the mates and they'll not have even known about the video. I didn't. I got to the stadium and my mate said, hey, yeah, have you seen this video? And I was like, why are you talking shit? He didn't show us the video, he just said there was a video. I didn't believe him. Um, but nonetheless, in the stadium, the song got sang because it was very poor timing, like I say, by the club. Um, the song is obviously Ama Diallo. He's got the biggest in the championship and um i didn't think diallo dislikes the song I, in, in fact i think diallo actually likes the song because every away game he's went up to the southern supporters when they've been singing this exact song and he's danced along to it there's actual video footage of him dinging it dancing along to the song obviously people have complained regarding the song and i can understand why they've complained if you've got little kids around who, who you didn't want to uh, you didn't want them to hear swearing and, and profanities and stuff like that. That song, when it's been sung, is sung by quite a lot of Sutherland supporters. So the will have heard it. And I can get that and understand how complaints have got to the club regarding the song. Um, like I say, it's been sung for months now. So Sutherland releasing that video was a bit poor time. And they could have done it a couple of days beforehand. Gives supporters plenty of time to either change the song or even just not sing it in general. But regarding the racism aspect for me, it's not racist. It's not racist at all. It, um, a lot of say, Man United supporters used to sing about Lukaku. They had to stop digging that as well. So you can understand why they, you want, they want the song changed, but I cannot see it being racist in my point of view. Um, but listen, he wants, he wants us to stop, so we should just stop. And to be honest, it's not the best thing to be singing about a 20-year-old man's bits and pieces, you know what I mean? We shouldn't really be digging it, it's a bit cringy, you know what I mean, when you get a bit older. But you, I can understand why the young and singers, they're just happy, so them are winning 3-0 and they start singing the song, because that Diallo did have an absolute amazing game yesterday. But regarding this situation, I think it's not racist, but it also shouldn't be sung. I didn't think me and Stephen are going to be singing it anymore. Well, I'm not. I can't, I can't see if he is or if he isn't. Yesterday he got carried away and he sang it. I think I might have sang it once or twice, but... Now he's come out saying, please stop it. Even though the video was clearly scripted by the club, uh, we even got him to see how are the lads. But nonetheless, uh, we've got to stop doing it. We've got to, if he's asked to me, the club's asked, let's just knock it on the head and stop singing it. But like yesterday, the, the lads played amazing. Uh, Alicia, Mans, West Ham must be kicking themselves, getting rid of him to us, because he was immense. Bart won 10 out of 12 aerial dual headers. Amazing. Uh, Gooch, just comes to show what we're missing goats because they was men getting up and down the wing. Sims got his goal. Pritchard finally got amongst them as well. And the lads beat Millwall, which I was very surprised. 3-0. Especially after the way they were playing in the first half. It was just... After 25 minutes, we had a shot on target where Millwall had a few. And I thought, oh, it's going to be one of these games where we're maybe a 0-0 or a 1-0 then. But the second half, they changed it around and, and the, they managed to pull three past them, which was outstanding considering we didn't even have Ross Stewart on the bench. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let us know your thoughts on the situation. Let us know your thoughts on the game yesterday as well. And I'll answer them in the comments below. Cheers.